In this video, we're gonna talk about how to be one of the best service technicians. One of the best things you can do is make sure you never have to come back. Thanks to Ferguson, of course, we've teamed up with Ferguson because of what they do for plumbers and the community. So number one, thank you Ferguson for helping us talk about Rector Seal today. And hang around to the end because we're gonna talk about Ferguson giving away some swag and I'm gonna tell you how you can do it. All you gotta do is look for the Easter egg. So guys, not getting a call back is sometimes one of the most important things you can do for a customer. I know as a plumbing company owner, callbacks are what kill us. The reason being, it's nothing you plan for. And if somebody calls, no matter how booked your schedule is, and you've got to go back and see them again, how do you fit it in? How do you work it out? Sometimes it's got to be overtime. Sometimes it's got to be after hours. But this puts a burden on the plumbers, the apprentices, the company, the dispatcher, everybody involved. So today, we're going to talk about things that you can do to help you do things better. Number one, not having a leak and using the right products. Okay, so one of my favorites is Rector Seal T plus two. Look, Rector Seal's been making great products for years. I was so excited when this first came out. It blew my mind whenever I found out that the Rector Seal T plus two actually has Teflon in it. That's really cool. But the good thing about it is, look, it's not like some of the stuff before that you couldn't get out of your clothes and whatnot. The T plus two pipe thread sealant is phenomenal. And it's not just a sealant, it's a lubricant. What I like about the T plus two, Number one, I love these plastic bottles. They're easy to get in and out of. You don't have to fight them. And you know what? This stuff works. Now, like I said, it's a lubricant and a pipe thread sealant. The cool thing is this is good for hot and cold water. It's good for potable water, so we don't have any problems there. It's lead free, there's no metals in it, and it's good for use on plastic and metal pipe. Now, I love this stuff. This is actually one of the things I make sure my guys use because I wanna make sure we don't have to go back because of a leak. And I know that if we use the right products, if we use the best products, we're not gonna have that problem. Now, something I may use more in an industrial situation is the True Blue. Now look, I've done commercial plumbing. I've done some of the biggest jobs in the Dallas area. I love True Blue. True Blue is good because of two things. Number one, movement, vibration. It's not gonna mess this up. It's not gonna pull it apart and it's not gonna cause it to leak. This is also a great gasket adhesive. So this is great for if you're flanging larger pipe. This is a tool that is good to have. Now it also has PTFE in it. That's right, Teflon inside of it. And True Blue is also made for potable water, both hot and cold. This is good, now think about it. If you're in an industrial situation and you're doing piping that may expand a little bit, you want something that's not gonna get hard, stays moist, and will expand and contract with the pipe. Now we're not talking a lot of expansion, but still, you want a sealant and adhesive that's gonna actually, actually move with it so you don't have leaks. True Blue to me is one of the things that, again, just like T plus two, I wanna make sure my guys have on the truck because you never know when you're gonna be in that situation where you need the right thing. And just like anything else, guys, having the right tools, doing the right thing is always what it's about. Now, two fluxes here. Now, I'm old school, I still love C flux. The reason being, this is what I started with. This is what I got really good with. And I love it because it's never failed me. One thing that I love for my guys to have this on the truck for is putting on flanges. If you've never soldered a piece of lead to a brass flange, you're gonna understand having C-Flux is a great thing. It's probably because it pretends it, but one thing that I like about C-Flux, if you're joining lead and brass, or even just copper, this really does make that solder suck down in there where you're not gonna have any leaks. Now, later, as we got into bigger jobs and things like that, somebody said, hey, look, we need to start using Aquaflux because it's water soluble. I completely understand that and it makes perfect sense, but normally on the bigger jobs anyway, we normally bleach out the water lines. We normally chlorinate them to purify them, to clean them, to make sure everything's wonderful. C-Flux is still rated for potable water, so you're not gonna have any problems using it on a water line. Me, I love this on the vans because if I ever have to solder that brass flange on, this and 50-50 solder work great. C-Flex is smooth, it's very easy to put it on. One great tip, use a little bit. It doesn't take much and it's gonna help that solder flow all the way in so you get full penetration on your solder joint and you're not gonna have leaks. 
The cool thing about Aquaflux, it's water soluble. So once you start flushing that water line out, it's all gonna go away. Now, Aquaflux is great for potable water. It also, it's very smooth, it goes on easy. And again, like I said on Seaflux, if you are using this for a potable water line, copper to copper, piece of copper pipe to a copper fitting or a brass adapter, either one, use a very little bit and I'll teach you a trick here. Wipe it off before you solder. Put it on your pipe after you clean it, put it inside your fitting after you clean it, put it together and then take a rag, wipe it down. Wipe it down really good before you make your solder joint. I promise you, it'll help you make an even better solder joint. Okay, now this is one that a lot of you probably don't use. Me, since I used to do commercial work, I understand our protection. And sometimes we work on multifamily homes that maybe have sheetrock going all the way up through it. If there is a water line penetrating from one side to the other, and a lot of y'all are gonna say that doesn't happen, but I have seen it. You wanna make sure you're using something like Metal Caulk 1000. Are you doing anything for fire protection? And think about that, even in a house where water lines go through the floor, are you using fire caulk or anything like it to seal it off? Because if you're not, if there's a fire down below, you could actually be allowing smoke or fire, the flame itself, to penetrate through the floor faster. At least with something like Metal Caulk 1000, you can slow that down, you can stop it. Even if it's not required, guys, sometimes this is the best thing you can do to help protect families. The cool thing about this, look, it's easy to put on, there's nothing to mix. You put this in your caulk gun, cut the tip and seal your holes. If it's a tight hole, seal it in through it. Now, there are times where maybe your hole's too big. You may need to put rock wool or something like that down in there, but make sure you get enough of this in here that you wanna make sure you seal off the floor below from the floor above. Guys, this can stop fire, this can stop smoke. It can stop so many things that may help someone save their life. And the cool thing about it, it's really easy to install. I love the fact that Rector Seal has Metacock 1000 and it's made where it's so easy to use. I've been on big jobs where we've had to fire caulk many penetrations. Something like this and getting it by the case makes it great. The neat thing about it, it's got a flexible cure so even if the house does move around, we're in North Texas right here, the foundation settle, the house moves a little bit, it's not gonna pull apart. It's flexible, it'll move a little bit with it. It goes on really easy, there's nothing to mix, and it's easy to do. Think about it. If you were doing this for your house, would you want something to help protect your children upstairs in case there was a fire? This is something that can literally make a difference. So these are some great products. Thank you to Rector Seal for allowing me to do this video and giving me the product to let me do it. Are you ordering online? If not, I wonder why. My guys are not standing at the counter all day. They go to ferguson.com and order everything so it can be delivered here. That way it's ready to be on their truck the next morning. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these products you use and what you like the best. I also wanna know, do you use the Metacock 1000 for fire protection? When I build new houses, I do. I think it's a big deal to think about the people upstairs, even when you're just putting in water lines and sewer lines. So do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And remember, don't forget to go to ferguson.com in April and look for the Easter egg. I promise you, when you see it, you'll know what it is. Go to ferguson.com, find the Easter egg, and tell them where you found it and give them your information, and hopefully you can get in the drawing and get some swag. And remember, this is sponsored by Ferguson, so go to ferguson.com and get the products that you need. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.